Early this morning, I went outside for a cigarette before dawn. I'm going to need to ask Wade about my maple tree. It provides a shady area of their driveway so they can sit and enjoy the outside with their young daughter who is growing up fast. I want to make sure they don't mind the branching out over their property. I've watched it grow from seed and it's a glorious silver maple. It's not in the way or in any danger of being a hazard yet. And I'll just have to see how it grows to know whether or not it needs to be trimmed or removed altogether. I sent him a text at 745 today and haven't gotten a response back. It's now 1030. I sent out a copy of, it, of my new composition to 122 different people today. And at 9 a.m., I got a compliment from, from one friend. It's now 4 a.m. the next day, and I got three. I saw three notifications for the Messenger app, but when nobody else, but but nobody else responded. No, oh. but I tried to open the app on my iPhone 11, and it wouldn't open. I was driving when it happened, so I drove home to make a video on my computer of the cybercrime in action. I posted the movie on YouTube on my channel and shared it on Twitter. Someone has to get the word out about this technology not being a good thing because it is uncontrollable. And it can change the capacity of things or interfere with circuitry in a program, rebooting pages, like I showed in the first video, having trouble with my Facebook page and posting because it would let me, it, it would let me type for a little bit and then it would reload the page suddenly blocking me from getting a message out to the public again. Another violation of my guaranteed right of two amendments. The ability to voice my opinion and share facts is removed, which is censorship by silencing a violation of free speech. It's also an invasion of privacy. This singular event occurring over and over again, days in a row, isolates me from society and I feel less connected. I sent out an email to the police at 4 a.m. And then around 6 a.m. I forwarded to local media. I've gotten no response from them, like usual. I went to the post office and asked about the priority mail. If I send something Friday, should a return priority envelope be in the mail yet? She said it would take two to three days. The police better not have blocked me again. When I got home, Wade had 
had a, had a delivery, maybe lunch, from a man that looks similar to him, driving a gray SUV. Patty, still at it, had another guest today. A silver Jeep with license plate JVF4369. It was parked across the street from her house, but right at the walkway. The vehicle is still there, and it's now 4 a.m. I spent about an hour or so <laughs> writing out what to say to the Secret Service. Then I called the Cincinnati field office. When I explained that there were two imposters of the Secret Service that came into my neighborhood, she transferred me to an agent after a very long pause. I'm guessing my number and name is flagged. And she's a little bit slow at reading and put me on hold to learn what government gossip there was on me, probably full of lies. All this time is being wasted. And there is, uh, and, and the criminals are growing more technology. And the technology could take over the world. As far as I can tell, it's Arvid's technology. And he has planted it around the neighborhood. I think Bill digs it up and puts it in plastic bags that he then puts into his car. And he's a runner, like a runner for drugs, and delivers the technology among the hate group members around Ohio. I have a feeling my property is affected, and that's why they... call it the devil to set me up and lose my home so that they'll get what they want. Me moved out of the home I own and get in trouble for something I didn't do. I called the Columbus Secret Service, which I don't think exists, and it rang until voicemail picked up the call. three times. I left three messages and took up all the available time on two of, two of the three. I got through my 25 points I wanted to make, said thank you, and then hung up. I don't anticipate a call back as I guess the real government as false information or discriminates against a disability. Just like their little brother, the Columbus Division of Police. I'm going to try the Cleveland office in a little bit. Boy, is the government making a big mistake. You know, not believing me costs money. I charge by the day. The more blocking I get, the higher my daily rate. So I just got a raise today. If Cleveland blows me off, too, I guess it will be a double raise. I miss them because it's now after 5 p.m. Another day of nothing. 
no progress whatsoever. I went to call my mom twice today, and my phone wouldn't connect. I sent Arvid a long text describing a lot of things that need to be fixed. I haven't posted it yet, and I haven't gotten a text of any kind. Arvid created all this for Patty. And it's ruined my life. Why are the police so rude to me? What did that slut across the street say about me? Or do they treat all drug users the same way? 